Heavenly Father, thank you for placing us in families and for giving us the understanding that parents are ordained by you to train up their children in their reverential fear of the Lord. In a world where honor and respect for both parents and all the mentors is becoming increasingly scorned, we pray that children and young people would be willing to listen to their father's words of instruction and to hold fast to the teachings they receive from their mothers. We plead your protection over Christian families wherever and pray that your name would be honored and respected by old and young alike. To your praise and glory, this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, everyone. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our scripture reading is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 8. Listen, my son, to your father's instruction and do not forsake your mother's teaching. This is the word of the Lord. Proverbs 1, verse 8 is an instruction aiming at producing wisdom. This wisdom involves not only growth in knowledge, but also the ability to use that knowledge in discerning what is right and true, then acting accordingly. It calls for training and discipline. The result will be purity in personal behavior and justice in dealing with parents and also with others. The guiding principle in searching for honoring and listening to our parents is a respectful relationship with a holy God. This verse goes beyond simple obedience. It includes the ideas of respect and consideration. In the New Testament, Paul points out to us that this command is the first which comes with a promise. It's found in Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 4. Paul also commands fathers to raise their children in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. In Proverbs 1 verse 8, we see Solomon giving the same exhortation to follow the wise instruction of your parents. This suggestion is especially poignant coming from Solomon, although he was blessed by God with incredible wisdom. Found in 2 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 11 to 12, Solomon didn't always choose to use it. The book of Ecclesiastes records how he pursued many things other than God and found them to be empty and pointless. That's found in Ecclesiastes 2, verse 9 to 11. In the end, Solomon came to the conclusion that following God's will is by far the most important goal of our lives, found in Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13 to 14. Listen, my son, to your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. This is a warning against foolishness and the allure of sinful behavior. Solomon begins this warning by appealing to his children to honor their parents' teaching. As any parent knows, it's often best to outline a negative behavior before stating the consequences of that behavior. When we are adults, it should be easier to honor our parents. Honoring your parents doesn't end when you have grown up. You are called to honor parents throughout their lives. Be thankful to them and show your gratitude. Communicate with them, talk to them and treat them with respect. Seek their advice, pray for them, forgive your parents, encourage your parents, tell them the truth, take care of them, talk well of them publicly and privately. And when after all these instructions are followed, your own children will in return obey and honor you in the Lord, for this is right. God gave us a path of righteousness to live by, and he showed us the right path to live and gave us the instructions to pass down to our children and the society that we live in. Children, Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, so that it may go well with you, and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Found Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 3. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Yes.
pray. Thank you, God, for my parents. They nurture us. They love us, and I care about their love. Um, I'm grateful for their love. I'm grateful for their help. I'm grateful for the understanding. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen.